Hi, I'm Sean Mosen for Agatsu.com. I've been getting a lot of emails lately, people asking about the breathing for kettlebell snatch. So we're going to go over an option for you. I say it's an option because I'm not dogmatic about the way that I do things. There's all kinds of possibilities. And for me, when I'm choosing whether something is correct, I'm just looking at whether it's safe and it moves me in the direction of my goals. So for example, if you and I want to climb a mountain and you say, hey, look at that, the right side, that's the way we're going to go. That's the easiest climb for us. Let's do that. And I say, no, nah, you know what? I checked it out yesterday. The left side, that's what we want to do. Somebody else shows up and says, hey, you guys are both nuts. Go up the middle. That's the way to do it. That's the safest route. Well, we get to the top. You and I are standing there. This third person doesn't make it. Well, their way wasn't right. It wasn't safe. But we made it, we went complete opposite ways, we still meet our end goal, in this case it was the summit. So great, let's do it. In the case of the kettlebell snatch, it's different than working with a barbell, right? We're working with a sub-maximal load. I'm not going to hold my breath, I'm not creating a lot of tension. If I want to create tension, it's when I'm doing something for a maximal load, one time, bam! This, I want to be able to continuously go, I want more reps. If you have a lot of tension, you're going to rob yourself of reps. Look over, just before I grab the bell, look at the three phases of the snatch. We bring it back, that back swing, one breath. As the kettlebell starts to come up, just when your arm starts to leave your body, it's breaking contact, that's another breath, right here, the acceleration pull. Bring it up overhead, fixation, that's another breath. So you have an option to take three breaths for every repetition. So it would be three breaths. This shallow, continuous breathing is going to help you relax. Your breathing, your movement, your alignment, they all have a relationship together. If you want to stay relaxed and you want to bang out more repetitions of something, you don't want to be getting very tight and trying to blow the weight up. That's not relaxing. So if we're moving around with a kettlebell and I'm bringing it up, Very relaxed using the shallow breath you may take two breaths at the top you may take one breath you may take more it depends on your goal if my goal is to build up a little bit of that endurance and I'm going to pace and I'm going to do fewer repetitions in a minute so maybe I'll hang out in fixation a little longer then I'm dropping down if I'm trying to go a little bit faster in my training I'm going to do more reps per minute then I'm just going to stabilize, take that one breath, and bring the kettlebell back into the backswing. So think about the three phases of the snatch. Think about the backswing, think about the acceleration pull, think about fixation. Take a breath at each one. It's a exhale. The inhale will take care of itself. So how many you take at the top? It's going to depend a little bit on your training goals for that day or whether you're in competition, depending on what you're doing.